This is a quick walkthrough and a look at what it looks like to set up and use continuous delivery for Puppet Enterprise to deploy uh, changes from a code into a Puppet environment. I have integrated continuous delivery for Puppet Enterprise with my two systems, my version control system, Git, GitLab in this case, and also my Puppet Enterprise master. First thing I want to do is set up a control repository or configure that in CD for PE. So we'll grab that from GitLab through the integration, use the appropriate organization, find my control repository. There we go. And say I want to track commits or changes to the master branch. Okay. Now that we've configured the control repository, let's make sure that I have defined a set of environment node groups in Puppet Enterprise or sets of nodes that I want to deploy code to. So over in Puppet Enterprise console, I've got a couple of environment node groups set up, namely a production environment node group, staging environment node group, and test environment node group, each with their associated Puppet environment or Git branch that defines which version of code is running on these systems. So let's do an ad hoc deployment real quick, just demonstrate deploying a single version of code from, so here's to the Puppet Master, from the master branch of Git, Go ahead and select one of the specific SHAs, just this latest one, Hello World, and deploy that to my test environment nodes. There's a couple of different policies I can use to do that. Direct is very simple, means deploy it now. There we go. So that deployment's been kicked off. I can go watch that deployment in progress, and I'll be able to see what the results are when it's finished. While we're waiting for that to finish, though, um, let's actually set up a pipeline so that we can automatically perform deployments of code to my test environment when I merge pull requests into master or otherwise make commits to the master branch. So let's add a stage. There'll be a deployment. We're going to deploy to the main puppet master to my test environment and we'll do that direct deployment policy. There we go. Let's keep going and say I also want to automatically deploy to my staging environment in the event that an acceptance test works on nodes in test. Let's add a stage. We'll do an acceptance test suite here. Great. And if that works, do one more thing. We'll add a deployment to my staging environment. We'll do this one by a slightly different policy. So we have the option of doing a rolling deployment or carefully deploying this to smaller groups of nodes and aborting the deployment, for example, if uh, more than two, two nodes in the deployment fail. And now I have a pipeline. When I make a change in Git, this pipeline will automatically trigger and deploy the code as far as I've defined. So let's go ahead and make a change. I'm going to edit the readme file. Let's go ahead and delete this extra line here. Commit those changes. And then back in continuous liver for Puppet Enterprise, we notice that there's a new events button. Click that. I can see we have the deployment and the job and the next deployment all running based on that push to the control repository. The original deployment, if I go back and view the details, is done. It is run Puppet on these nodes and updated the test Git branch or Puppet environments with the selected version of code.